Good morning. So today I'm actually doing a Munro, hopefully. Um, I'm aiming to do Stucker Croin, which is in the South Trossex. Um, not walked it before. Um, so I'm doing it from the Ben Ech side. So there's about four ways I think that you can do Stucker Croin. The most common way is over Ben Vorlich, which is also Munro, and then Stucker Croin. Um, People who are bagging Munro's usually do the two together, which makes sense. I've already done Ben Vorlich. Um I've actually also done Ben Eck as well, can hear Cuckoo. Um, yeah, I've also done Ben Eck, which is a Corbett. Um, so that's the other way over Ben Eck, up to Stucker Croin, which is what I'm doing today. Um, there's also a way in from Calendar, but I believe that's quite a long walk into it. And also I think, I'm not sure about this one, but the way I'm coming down Stucker Croin, like into Glen Ample, I think you'll probably be able to go back up that way. Um, but yeah, most people just do it Ben Vorlich over. But I've done Ben Vorlich and to be honest, it's a nice mountain, but I preferred Ben Eck. So I'm doing Ben Eck again. Um, yeah, I'm just about to get into Glen Ample. I really like Glen Ample, so yeah, I'm quite happy to be doing it this way again. Um, but yeah, I decided over the winter that I did in fact want to bag all the Munros. So I figured I'd start with the nearest one to me that I've not done yet and just sort of work my way outwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be a good day. Um, unfortunately, I kind of got up a wee bit late um, because I think if I got up early, I think I might have had a cloud inversion. Uh, it's been really hot the last few days, um, but like getting quite chilly at night and there is quite low cloud like i think i'll be walking in cloud today and um, once i get higher up um but yeah i think had i come early this morning i think that cloud would have been lower down and i may have got an inversion but i had a sleeping instead so it's actually quite late now um but even so it's gonna be nice there's no like wind forecast or anything so it would probably be quite nice like walking up in the cloud up there yeah, should be a good day. So this is Glen Ample that I'm in. You can actually go all the way across to Loch Earn on this track, which is quite nice. I've done that before. But yeah, it's a lovely valley. Yeah, I'm just about to go up here. The track zigzags somewhere up there. I think it goes around here and then up. But yeah, it's looking quite cloudy at the top, but um, it is forecast to lift and be quite sunny. But then also there's rain in the air, so I'm not sure whether the forecast is true. But it'll be what it'll be. But yeah, and then Stucker Croin is somewhere behind it. <laughs> so there's a good chance if the cloud doesn't lift, I'm not even going to see Stucker Croin today. I'm just going to like be on it. <laughs> A 
it's really nice here in the cuckoos there's at least two of them over there and then i think there's one down here as well but it's also echoing around the glen it's amazing to hear So I'd forgotten how steep this mountain is. Um, so I'm stopping for a wee penguin break. That's a joke on it. Uh, how does a penguin make pancakes with its flippers? That's a terrible joke.
So I've made it to the summit of Benek. Um, that's the summit's up behind me, but it's a bit breezy up there to talk. Uh, stuck a coin somewhere over there. <laughs> there is a path over to it. I was um, so I used the Camus app for like finding trails. I have got a paper map and compass with me also, but it doesn't show any like actual trails on it. Um, so the plan is to follow this across over to Stucker Croyne. Apparently there's a trail somewhere between here and Stucker Croyne down to Glen Ample. However, the Camus app also said there was another route up to Ben Eck. Not the one I was following, I followed like the main path. I could not see that route. I had a look where it said it joined the route that I was on and there was no path there. So I don't know like why it was saying that. Um so it could be my planned like route off the mountain might not even be a route, so I might end up coming back over here. Anyway, um which is fine. Um so yeah, it's been it's a shame there's no views. I'm a bit sad about that, but it might actually clear up. Um it is forecast to get sunny later, so we'll see about that. Um I'm actually quite enjoying it. It's like I said it's a bit breezy up on the top, it's more for the microphone, it's not actually that windy at all. It's actually lovely and peaceful and like it looks really thick cloud on the camera but it's actually it's alright. Like I can't see very far but I can see like around me and like I don't feel like completely trapped in cloud. It's it's nice, it's quite magical. And it keeps lifting now and then. And I feel I don't know, it does feel it doesn't look it on the camera but it, it feels quite bright so the sun might peek through but yeah so uh, got myself a cheese sandwich so i'm just gonna have one of them on this one another one for stuck a cry <laughs> so there's a mountain goat just up ahead that's pretty cool doesn't seem too bothered about me being here i hope it doesn't like attack me or anything <laughs> I don't know what goats can be like. Pretty cool though. See them up here. There's another one up there. Oh, there's multiple. Oh my god, hi! <laughs> well, that's made me pretty happy seeing goats. Also, I think someone saw ptarmigan up here as well. That'd be amazing to see one of them. Okay, call me mad. But them goats are following me now. They were up there. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm guessing there's more down here that they're trying to get to. Okay, I'm definitely not imagining things. These guys were right behind me. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate because it's actually quite tough, but they were they were right behind me. <laughs> I guess maybe other people have fed them sandwiches.
So I can hear a goat. Right. It's probable there's a lot of goats up here. But if it's the same goats that I've just seen coming down. It was about 20 minutes ago that I last saw them. So if that's them behind me somewhere. They're definitely following me. And does that mean I've got goats now? <laughs> well, I guess there's not much for them to do up here other than follow walkers, I guess. I don't know, it could be different goats. It could be just me being paranoid. Sounds like the same goats, so... So I'm going to be honest, I'm near the summer I think. This is not what I walk mountains for. Like, it's nice, I've had a nice day so far. But like, I've kind of like survived on hope that the cloud would lift and I'd get to see the views. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get to see any views at all. And it's been quite a long walk in and quite difficult. Which is fine. But it's a lot of effort just to look at a bit of cloud, isn't it? Like, there's so many misty days that I could just go for a nice walk in the mist. And I've just, yeah. It's fine, I'm not really complaining, but... Like, I said I wanted to bag one rose, but I don't want to just be ticking them off for the sake of it. Like, I probably am going to have to come and do this one again to actually experience what it's like. Because I don't even know what it looks like. Like, I'm walking up it, but that's that's it. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. It's not what I walk mountains for. Not a bad day, but yeah. So this last bit is quite steep. I'm gonna love coming down this. Good. As you can see, the view is amazing. I've just spent five hours walking up hill. Admittedly, I am quite slow, but yeah, five hours of walking uphill. This. I'm not complaining too much. It has been quite enjoyable, but. I would not mind seeing a view. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so I don't actually know which one is the correct summit. Here's another one. We'll boot that one as well. 
But yeah, Ben Vorlich's just through there. I think the path up from Ben Vorlich's up here somewhere. I think it's quite steep. <laughs> There it is. I do realise I'm being quite negative. I think, like, it's been a good day out, it's been good exercise, but I don't know, I, I just feel like. I've done today like I did think the cloud would lift and I'd get the views but like because it hasn't I feel I feel like I've just come up here just to scratch off the Munro off my map rather than getting to really experience the mountain like, I have experienced it somewhat like obviously it's been quite nice walking through the mist but it's not the same as like seeing the views and, and that's that's why I like walking mountains is the views and I haven't seen any so I'm a bit disappointed but I'm a bit fitter today now <laughs> so the next morning I'll be able to bash out a bit easier as well <laughs> but yeah it's quite a tough one um, I didn't realise it is quite a steep scramble up the way I came up there um, it is very nice though between here and Benek really nice landscape even without the views it's beautiful rock formations and that enjoyed that but yeah anyway i'm just gonna stop have a little rest and then head back down Quite nice, the cloud has lifted slightly from when I came up, although it's coming back in again now, but yeah, it's nice to see some things that I didn't see on the way up, it's nice. Penguin break number two. Why don't penguins like rock music? Because they only like soul. So for the first time today, I've actually seen a mountain that I've walked. That's Ben Eck up there. And yeah, I came down here, along here. So I'm going back along here. And I think somewhere along here, there might be a cut off down to Glen Ample. Otherwise I'll just pop over it again and down the other side. Yeah, the clouds are lifting. It, probably if I'd started even later in the day, I'd have actually got a view from the top. I'm actually beginning to see quite far in the distance which is nice that's cheered me up It's amazing, I can see all the way down the fourth. See Falkirk and I bet if I have binoculars I'll be able to see the Kelpies from here. See the Wallace Monument and Stirling. I think that hill's Demiat. Um, in some ways it's kind of good it was misty on the way up because that's an intimidating hill. That just came off. Um yeah, that was a good thing about walking through the cloud, like I didn't have to get intimidated, I was just walking. That's that's not even stuck a crying, that's just a little bump between me and it. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I'm gonna have a nice bath. I'm gonna get home and a cup of tea. Yeah, it's it's a bloody lovely walk actually, it's really nice. Highly recommended. But it's tough.
I'll show you on the big camera, but that's Benmore and Stabinian there. I think Benmore's my next one to do. Probably next week. Well, these views are making the climb worth it now. I thought if I was up and down just in cloud, it would have been a bit of a waste of time. Like, so I've just gone on a low level walk. But, but yeah, it's a tough one. I didn't realise. I mean, I did because I was, get, you know, obviously doing it. But, I mean, the camera always flattens these hills. But that that isn't even like most of it that's just like one little bit and that's actually quite an intimidatingly steep bit of hill i think there's like two more of them before you get to stuck a coin not to mention benek and that so yeah it's quite a, quite a tough one but i think i've said that already <laughs> gotta get used to it though because all these will be climbed at some point or another <laughs> so there's a track down there past that reservoir or something um that goes down to calendar which is just around this corner so i guess the other way in is along this track at the back somewhere here um yeah probably quite a tough one um i am trying to i am thinking about starting cycling so I kind of think cycling up there might be a fun one to do. See what's up there. It was quite interesting that moorland there. So I don't know if you can see that, that's the summit of Stucker Croin, about to be under blue sky. I should have had a longer lion and just come up here in the afternoon. Look at that, that's rude. I mean it's good that I'm, I'm getting to enjoy some clear and getting to see the views, but come on. Look at it go. <laughs> she takes a piss a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. If I was dead fit and energetic, I'd go back up again. But I'm not I'm bloody shattered. So, at least I have got some view though. Not all bad. Well, it's very lovely now. I have to get my t-shirt out. Also, um, I saw some people walking down and I thought I would have crossed paths with them by now. I thought they were going up to Stucker Croin. But I'm guessing they've gone down somewhere. So there must be a way somewhere, but I didn't quite clock where they went. So apparently this is the way down. I actually can see a faint path over there actually. Got a lovely clear mountain. So that's stuck a croin. That's Benek. At least I've seen them now. 
Like when I went up, I said like, I haven't even seen stuck a crow and I don't know what it looks like. I know what it looks like now. And obviously I've seen it from a distance, so I can see it from near where I live. Um, yeah, know what it looks like. Quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Just mistimed it with the cloud situation, but honestly it wasn't too bad. Just a bit grumbly, I think. Um, yeah, at least it's not been windy or anything like that. I'm not fully trusting this path that Kamut's trying to send me down, to be honest. Might be alright, but... It does have a bit of a habit sometimes sending me down things that are not quite... <laughs> quite safe. <laughs> I mean there is something here actually. Oh yeah there is a path down yeah. Alright that'll be fine. But yeah I never quite trust mobile apps when they say there's a path <laughs> but this looks fine. Oh, it's actually quite lovely. Them clouds. So this is me down into Glen Ample. So I've just got a nice flat bit before just dropping down the last bit into the apartment van. Um, it's been a really long day. Um, so it's been eight miles in total and about 3,400 feet in elevation. Um, so my app and everything said it would take about five or six hours. It's actually taken me about eight, what's about eight hours. Um, admittedly I've not really been pushing I've just meandered along and stopped plenty in that so but yeah it's not a short day um, and it is quite tough but it's been good it's really nice um, I did enjoy walking through the clouds to begin with and then I got a bit, a bit old <laughs> but yeah on the way back down the views have been beautiful and I think like doing the summits on a clear day are going to be fantastic like I know by neck I've done that on a clear day and the views are fantastic. So, yeah. So that's me back, nearly back to the van. So I'm going to end the video here. So as always, if you made it this far, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video, which is probably going to be me going up Benmore. Bye.